Hello, it's that genius dude here, and I want to be showing you four easy ways to increase the speed and in your and performance of your computer. And a lot of people, what they do is when they notice their computer is getting slower and it's just not working like they used like it used to when they bought it, they think they're going to bring it to the computer shop or they need to go buy another one. But before you attempt those two things or do those two things, let's just see uh, what what I will be showing you will see if that would help your computer at all. all right, uh, the first. The first one is it's called MS well, it's called Microsoft configuration but it's for abbreviation it's MS config and if you're using uh Windows 7 or Windows Vista you just go to the search bar or the start menu and search type in MS config with no spaces no caps and you can see it right here you can click it or hit enter and you can notice right here under general it's probably going to be on normal startup on by default but Basically, what this is is it's basically your startup programs. Basically, when you turn on the computer, like say if you have these, uh, I don't know what's a good example. Like for example, this time thing right here, this time application that comes up on startup. It's considered a small program, but nothing biggie. And and uh, I think I have that one on, but that's the only thing I have on. And basically, if most of these, basically all these are selected by on by default, and and these can slow down the computer. I mean, unless you got like a really good hardware, if you bought top of line hardware, it's not going to do anything, but people don't want to spend all their money. So, you see, you can go and disable all, or you can turn off, like, unselect the ones that you really don't want. And if you're not sure what, what some of these are, then just leave them on. Like, Google Update, uh, basically, that's like auto update, but if you open up Google Chrome, well, that's the update for it. It's for Google Chrome, and you open it, it'll tell you to update. But, that's the only, that's what the startup thing is. It just does it automatically before you open it, which is really no point. So that's basically, that's the first one. Or after, I'm sorry, uh, whenever you apply it, you're going to have to restart your computer. Alright, after that, uh, the second one is the performance options. I should have done that one first, but alright. Just type in, and if you have, on your start menu, uh, perf performance. I don't know, I think I'm totally spelling that wrong. Uh, performance, alright. Let's see, uh, just click the, it'll, you'll see a under control panel, it'll be adjust appearance and performance of Windows. I mean, I didn't, just because I didn't type it all the way, but, I'm lazy. And when you click that, it'll have all these selected by default. Basically, what this is, is, like, the air, like, Windows at Aereo, and stuff like that. It's basically, like, the glass appearance, it looks like it's, like, clear, it's called glass, I guess. Yeah, right there, and it will transparent glass. If you turn that off, I'll show you real quick, if you apply it, it'll be off. Which I don't really, I don't really want to slow down your computer, but what slows down your computer is the animation. Like when you select all programs, you see like the fading effect, and when you uh, when you minimize something, it'll just slide down like an animation. And if you uh, turn that, let me enable that real quick. Put that on. Basically, if you don't uh, wait, if you don't know what some of these are, like it says show mouse pointer, but it's pretty obvious. Most of these are self-explanatory. Uh, you can just click let Windows choose what's best for my computer, and uh, I've actually never used that. I guess it's going to put that on automatically. It doesn't matter what computer it is, so I wouldn't use it. But I would select the one for best, of, no, not best appearance, but adjust for best performance, and it just turns it all off automatically, so I'm going to go through each one and turning it off. And then you just hit apply, and then it's going to show up. But it's, and then it's going to look like the old-fashioned Windows. And it's just kind of boring, and you know it doesn't really matter if you have that on. So, but to turn that back on, you have to click the very bottom one. It says "Use Visual Styles on Windows and Buttons," and you click Apply. And then it would have it all how it used to be for Windows Basic. It has no animation; it just comes up instantly. When you minimize something, it'll just go instantly. And it, it that's it for this one. I'm just gonna put mine back to normal. All right. Then the third option you can do, or you would want to do, is it's called, it's under the same category, it's Disk Cleanup and Disk Defragmenter. Basically what Disk Cleanup does, here you can go ahead and search it in, just type in Disk, and, uh, and then you'll see this is Disk Cleanup and Disk Defragmenter, Defragmenter, and just type Disk Cleanup, or click Disk Cleanup, and you want to select your hard drive. Uh, basically the main hard drive is going to be your C drive, and you want to click that. And it's going to scan. It depends. If you've never done it before, then it's going to take a long time to scan, or if you have a lot of stuff on your computer. But I do this. I do this all the time, so that's why I went really quickly. All right, you just want to select everything, 
and then click OK. And if you want to do, uh, if you want to do clean up system files, it's the same exact thing. It'll come up with another window. It looks like exact. It looks exactly the same. You just select it all and then click OK. And when you click OK, it'll start deleting like uh, these temporary files that aren't even you're not even using. It's just a bunch of files you don't even need, and it cleans up your hard drive. All right, and then the, the third option is, or fourth option is disk clean, disk defragmenter. Just put disk, uh, type that in the start menu, and then click disk defragmenter. And then you're gonna have a bunch of options, or a few options. It's showing all the like uh, partitions on your hard drive, or for your all hard drives. I think this one it says system reserve. That's usually gonna be for your main hard drive, but that's just reserved, so you don't have to worry about that. So what you want to click is your main hard drive, and if you have a storage like me, you can do that one too. You can click both of them using holding by holding Control then clicking it. And when you click that, you can you click the fragment disk, and what that does, th this will take about uh, let's see, it takes a few hours if you have a really big computer. Like if you have a huge hard drive, it'll take a few hours. But whenever it's defragmenting, you don't want to use your computer. You just want to let it sit and defragment. And what de what this does is it it's moving files around on your hard drive for your programs. So, like, say for example, when you install a program, like these, there's these files all over your computer. So when you open the computer, it's trying to search for all these files for all over your computer, and it just takes a lot longer. So what? And it's so whenever it's defragmenting it, it's moving the files where where the program can get it the fastest. And I guess I'm trying to. I guess that's the best way to put it. So when you open your program, it'll be faster for it to come up and and it'll load it'll load a lot faster. And then, uh, and after that's done, you want to just go ahead. and I don't think it'll say to you, but just go ahead and restart your computer just to have it fresh for a fresh restart. All right. So that was one of my first videos for this channel. So sorry if I stuttered or did anything bad or missed anything, but I don't think I missed anything. And thank you, and don't don't forget to subscribe.